guys, my name is Jade and welcome back to the couch. We're going to be talking about these Bolt Action Prime blasters that have been out forever. And by forever, I mean when I just was getting out of Nerf as a kid, the Busby Predator came out. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. My friends had them, they painted them up, they made them look really cool. I wanted one, I never got one though. And yeah, so these have been out forever. They're super easy to produce and everything and busby adventure force has been making them ever since the original predator came out and they've been slowly making changes and upgrading them and doing better things the busby predator has a much lower fps than the newer alpha rogues and covert squads but with every reiteration of this blaster they made very slight internal changes pretty much same mechanism same overall idea but each one got a little bit better and they tried new things. For instance, the catch on this is different than the catch in this, even though they're the same mechanism and pretty much almost the same shells on the inside. The catch on this one's much better than the catch on the Covert Squad. And my Covert Squads are used, so this is showing their wear. You can see it doesn't catch. It doesn't like to catch. And when it does, you gotta be like... You gotta, you gotta sneak it. You gotta trick it into shooting. So you put your bullet in here, and you gotta slowly bring that forward. Slowly do that, and then you can fire. And it shoots really hard, guys. Like, these average 70, high 80s. I got an 135 FPS shot out of this. Stock. There was some dart, different darts, but still, it's like, that's not bad for $9 at Walmart. And, um, I mean, the stock's trash. It does actually store darts, but it, it's not good. If it was, like, the Busby Predator in the, the next iteration or the next couple iterations had better stocks. This one suffers from the same problem. Although I do like the look of this a lot better, and I'll show that with my custom one, because if you know anything about Busby... Covert squads or whatever make maker this is. I'm just gonna call it the covert squad. They uh came with two. They came in two packs. And yes, this is Busby. It says Busby right on the side. This one says it too. Um now one of the iterations that I really liked once I started to see these really take off with the market, because they're very they do very well on the market, is on the original Busby Predator, you have to take your dart, push it in, close this fire and do that all over again however with these ones they got rid of the step by adding just a little flange inside here you can see the little flange now all you have to do is throw a dart in here you can close that and it auto indexes the dart there's no mechanism or anything it's just the flange just allows the dart to slide into it a little bit better and that really makes a difference with the Loading, reloading times, which are still atrocious, but I mean, it is what it is. Now, I've seen people brass these. There's one really cool YouTuber that does a lot with these and a lot with mech 20s, which are also a really cool blaster. And he has a brass one that shoots about, well, it averages 135 every shot. It averages right in that 130 range, and it's relatively accurate. It's a cool little blaster. Um, also, the scope that the Alpha Rogue comes from, or comes with, is probably one of the coolest scopes I've ever seen for Nerf. Let me, uh, you can just barely, if I can do this right, you can see the crosshairs in there. The crosshairs are actually pretty good. They're not really super usable, but it does look really good. And I think it looks even better on the Covert Squad when it goes on. There we go. Yeah, so I, I love this small, teeny little sniper rifle look. Another really cool thing that Busby did was on the scope itself, you can see that it's angled. This side is actually taller than this other side right here. That's obviously for, you know, arching darts and stuff. But it's just like they really thought about these products as they did each new reiteration of it. And this has really stood the test of time. Like these came out however long ago. There is The patent date is, well, 2017, but that's not... That's just this blaster. What I got the Covert Squad for was to do something like this. This is my, essentially, hand cannon. 
It does have a spring upgrade. It has the air restrictor removed, which is very difficult to do without screwing up your uh, whole thing. And then what you got to do is you got to fill in the dead space because if you take out the air restrictor, it leaves about this much dead space where this actual mechanism indexes. Also, the Covert Squad, as you saw earlier, has that terrible catch. The design is just bad, and this was obviously a fluke. These are, these are older blasters. These ones specifically I thrifted and have obviously been used a little bit more. So I imagine that their mechanism has worn down a little bit. However, this one has a completely different catching mechanism, and it works a lot better. To get this to catch consistently, what I had to do was I had to re-grease it, do a little bit of sanding on one of the catch parts and then upgrade the catch spring a little bit because it actually indexes up like this meanwhile this one clicks in which is a little bit more efficient so when you load it you can shoot it obviously it's a little bit easier to hold i really like spinning blasters like this um i love rough cuts this is about the same size as a rough cut it fits in my rough cut holster i would i mean this is like a one shot with like a and at least a three second reload if you're good. Um, a rough cut is better in almost every single way than this, but it's a fun blaster. It's cool. Oh, I forgot I had a bullet in it. Um, it's cool for LARPs and stuff, and I really like it. I gotta add the tack rail back on, but if you guys are interested in me making more of these, I have, well, one more at least, but covert squads you can find pretty cheap everywhere, and I need to do this part better because this is literally just filled with hot glue. I just need to sand it down. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. And I need to clear coat the paint because as you can see, it's starting to wear off from where my hand has grabbed it. Also, this blaster is a lot better in your uh, left hand than your right hand just because like that's a little bit easier to do. And actually on that fire, I don't think I did remove the ARs on this one. I might have removed the ARs on a different one. And yeah, it looks like I did not remove the ARs on this one. So it's totally fine to dry fire. It's a nice little blaster. All of these are cool little blasters. They're great for paint ups and stuff. And if you guys are interested in them, you can find them online for relatively cheap. The original Predators go for a little bit more, 30, 40 bucks. And I'm not willing to spend that kind of money on something that's really bad internally that I would have to do some, like, some considerate modding and something that's not really war practical. I really like the tactics and stuff. And this is more of just a fun blaster. So if you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate the sub. I'd appreciate the view. I mean, honestly, if you made it this far in the video, like, thank you. Um, I don't know why I keep making these videos because they don't really get views, but I'm having fun making them. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more uh, kind of overall blaster mechanism reviews, let me know. I will do more of those. And yeah, so leave a like, subscribe if you want. Leave a comment if you have any tips for me to improve these videos. And um, yeah, I'll try to get back to you. I probably will get back to you because if you comment on my video, you're probably going to be the only one. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.